In the famous book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, the author, Dale Carnegie, he talks about something called the five levels of listening. And I want to break them down and explain them in this video so that you can have a better understanding of how to listen, specifically to girls, and specifically so that they feel like they are being listened to. If you want to take your relationship to the next level, ascending up this pyramid of the five levels of listening is how you do it. If you want your girl to be like, I, uh, I don't know, he just gets me, you know, we just click. To her girlfriends, you have got to ascend up this pyramid. So level one, the base, is called listening. And we all know what this is. They are talking and you're hearing them. Kind of like the physical noise that comes from background music. Or when you put on Futurama and try to write a script for your next YouTube video. But you're not consciously selecting to keep your attention on what they are saying. Remember that hearing is a physical thing. You can hear the physical sound waves. But listening is turning those sound waves into information that you can use. It's focusing your attention on what is being said, not just what the noise is. So real quick, let me go down a tangent here. There's this experiment in psychology called the Dear Aunt Jane experiment, and cognitive psychologists wanted to see if people could hear in both ears at the same time. And if they can't, how do they choose which ear to listen to? I actually wrote an entire article on selective attention theories. Anyway, they had these participants listen to two things in each ear. In one ear, they played Nine Aunt Six, and in the other ear, they played Dear seven Jane. Now this is obviously just a mix of numbers and words that they wanted the participant to focus on. Now, you can't objectively ensure that a person is focusing on something, so what you do is you tell them to repeat whatever they hear. This process is called shadowing. Now, what happens when you tell people to do this? They say out loud, dear Aunt Jane. This means for whatever reason, even if you try to pay attention with one ear, your brain will pick out meaningful stuff from the other ear. So the moral of this little experiment, what you focus on matters. And if I were to sum up attention theories for you real quick, because I've read a ton about them, it's that humans have horrible focus and that brains like to wander. So you will probably have to put in actual effort to listen to your girlfriend or whatever girl you're into. Next, level two is called pretend listening. And this is when you hear them, but you're still not listening. What makes this different than ignoring is that you're responding in a way that tricks the speaker into thinking that you're understanding what they're saying. In fact, you're actually lying to them. Think of when talking to someone on the phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. You're not adding value to the conversation. Maybe it's because you're not listening. And in fact, if you were asked, you wouldn't know what the conversation is about. This is usually more common in older marriages and relationships or when my mom asked my little brother to do something around the house. Next up is level three. This is selective listening. So selective listening is when you only pay attention to hot words or phrases that you agree with. So back to that attention theory. This is when you hear football or GTX 2080 or twin turbo injected V8 5 liter and your brain suddenly decides that something's important and to start listening. You choose what you want to hear and then you forget the rest. It's better than the other two lower levels of listening because at least you're listening a bit but not to the entire story. You're only listening to what you want to hear and you're ditching the rest. One major mistake men commonly make is listening to what they agree with and then assuming that the rest of the conversation is about it. For example, have you ever been interrupted by someone saying something and it's like if you had finished what you were going to say in the first place, you might have answered their question? It's kind of annoying, so don't do that to women or really anyone in general. People can pick up on selective listening even more than they can on pretend listening. But let's keep moving up this pyramid. Level four is attentive listening and this is what the majority of people do. Now many people actually can't make it past this stage, and if you can, you'll stand out and you will be remembered. In fact, one study found that cult leaders are actually great at getting past this to level 5, as well as other generally charismatic people. Now attentive listening is when you listen to the other person carefully, but at the same time you're judging their opinions, and you're most likely already thinking about what you want to say next. One important thing I want you to remember from this video is most people listen with the intent to reply not with the intent to understand. If you can try to understand the other person, your conversations will always be much more fruitful. Think of conversations you've had with other people. Have you ever been interrupted by someone who interrupted you just to say what was on their mind? It had nothing to do with what you were telling them? A lot of people commonly do this, and it's because while you're halfway done explaining yourself or maybe telling a story, they have stopped listening and are instead trying to remember what they're going to say to you next. This is better than all the other levels, but you should aim for the fifth and best type of listening. Level five is in 
empathic listening. Empathic listening is listening with the intent to understand. You're not trying to come up with something to say to make them feel good, and you're not only listening to just what you want to. Instead, you listen with your entire body. You have to take a step back, and during this time of listening, put yourself in their shoes, and try to understand how they feel. This is how psychologists say fruitful and long-lasting relationships are formed by two people understanding and having empathy for each other. When you're listening, sit down, slow down your talking, and focus really on how the other person feels, what they are saying, what type of story they are trying to tell. What helps a lot is to read their body language, and use your body language to show that you're actually engaged. You can do this mostly by just a little bit of mimicking, but also by other non-verbal methods that maybe I'll discuss in another video. Sometimes, just repeating back what someone says is a form of showing that you're actually 100% listening and engaged. Sometimes, just repeating back what someone says is a form of showing them that you're 100% listening and engaged, but sometimes this can be a form of level 2 pretend listening. So, I highly advise combining it with great facial expressions, using your tone properly, and restating what they said in your own words, not just in theirs. She made you feel worthless? Oh my goodness, he cheated on you with three other girls? That is so amazing he would buy you a dozen roses, just to make you smile. I wish I could find someone like that. The key to being a great conversationalist is being a great listener. And the key to being a great listener is by actually listening with your body and your emotions. Now a lot of times I know guys have trouble showing and using emotions, but if used correctly, they can help spark a relationship like never before. You don't even have to use this just in dating. If you use this in your business life, you'll open up all kinds of opportunities. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. Feel what they felt. It'll help you understand them better. And because of that, they'll have a greater liking for you. To sum up the pyramid of listening, think about this. Most guys think they have to solve every problem or offer an answer. But many times, girls just want to get out their feelings, to think out loud, and for someone to understand them. Sometimes it really is just as simple as listening. Theodore here, I want to share with you a project that I just completed and I'm launching this week because of Valentine's Day. My most successful course on dating, The Psychology of Attraction, has just been upgraded to version 2. What does that mean? It means now all students get free access to the book. I've spent a ton of time and money creating and filling this book with tons of helpful stuff with the help and feedback of our community. And if you want it, you can enroll in Psychology of Attraction 2.0 before midnight on Valentine's Day and I'll ship it right to your house. Plus, you'll get instant access to the full course containing over 50 lectures on topics like reading body language, overcoming approach anxiety, and a step-by-step -step framework for asking a girl out. You'll also get lifetime access to our growing and positive community. Thousands of students have already enrolled and you can too. All you have to do is click this link and you can learn more about my flagship best-selling results producing product. And as always, this course, this book, this membership all come with a 100% 30-day money-back guarantee so that it's a completely risk-free no-brainer. If you join and you realize it's not for you or that you don't learn anything or whatever the reason, all you have to do is ask for a refund and you'll get it. Plus, I'll let you keep the book for free. Think about it. I wouldn't still be in business if this product, this framework, my teaching didn't work. If it didn't actually help guys get girls to like them. If it didn't teach the fundamental communication skills and confidence tactics that actually help a guy like you stretch out of his comfort zone and grow into the man he was meant to be. Now I leave it to you. It's your decision. Thank you for watching, and if you're interested, click here to get started.